So I have about 10 minutes before my bus comes. Sitting at the bus stop. Thought I'd make a video. I had my camera on me. Uh, this week's topic was, uh, all, it's not all about the body. And it's kind of a discussion of the social aspects of transitioning. Because, you know, so many people think sex change is, oh, sex change. Like, you're a man and then one day you go to Thailand and you have a surgery. And the next day you come back and you're a woman. And that's all there is to it. And that. So far from the truth. <laughs> you know, this process takes years and there's social changes and. Um, some people don't even do any physical changes at all. And some people transition because they need to change their bodies. And some people transition because they need to change their social role. To where am I in that? I think I'm a good combination of both. Um, I had intense body dysphoria uh, ever since childhood. I wanted a, a man's body and a, a male body. And in puberty, it was really difficult because my body was developing the wrong way. And I didn't have the words the ability to express that to anybody. I didn't understand what was happening and why I was feeling the way I was feeling and I didn't know there was a word for it and yeah, I didn't know anything. I was totally uh, clueless. But, um, then later when I f found out about what transgender was when I was 18 and I went to college, I still didn't know about hormones. I, I knew that it was possible to socially transition, but I didn't know that it was possible to change my body. Uh, I didn't know that was a possibility. And instead of doing the social only transition, I just didn't have the courage or the empowerment to do that. And I didn't think it would solve my problem, which was physical dysphoria. So apparently other people wanted to wait at the bus stop, too. And I, <laughs> I feel too awkward making a video while um, other people are watching. Anyway, I think I was talking about... Let's see, where was I? Um, so... The social transition... Uh, was really big for me, and... It's not so much that... Men and women are, are so different. I, I really think there's more diversity within the categories of men and women than there is across that. Uh, divide. But, nevertheless, men treat men differently than women, and women treat women differently from men. And I feel more comfortable in society with the treatment that I get as a man. It matches up more with my personality, it feels more comfortable with me, it's how I like to interact with people. So men treat me as a man. And I mean, there are all kinds of little things that happen that are just really funny. I mean, I was waiting, I was going to this meeting, I was waiting outside the room because there's a previous meeting going on. and. There's a whole group of students waiting, and they just naturally divided into men and women. And oh, the other guy comes up to me, and he starts talking to me about stuff. And I'm like, why is he talking to me? And then I was like, oh, right, right, because I'm a guy. And he doesn't feel comfortable talking to the girls. So he's singled me out, and we're the guys talking over here, and the girls that are talking over there. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh, right, right. This guy thing. <laughs> and, um, 
you know, guys do things like slap each other on their backs and say, how's it going, Warren? <laughs> you think that it's just this interaction that men don't have with women. I mean, when I was living as a woman, no one... <laughs> Guys didn't come and smack me on the back and say, hey, how's it going? <laughs> I just didn't do that. So, um, that's just one example. But daily interactions are full of these uh, gendered roles. And just how men are interact with each other compared to how they interact with women. And I feel really at ease in the, in the male role. And um, when men are alone, they act differently than when there are women around. And the, the reverse of that also happens. You know, so now I'm beginning to experience what it's like um, to be treated as a man by women. And it's, it's really an interesting experience. I feel a lot more comfortable with it. Uh, it's actually a very relieving feeling that I'm not treated as a woman by them because I never was a woman. So that was, I just didn't like that role. It didn't fit me. But also, you know, I can be in all male environments and really experience how it is. And I really enjoy it. And enjoy the male bonding experience that I, I missed out on for so long. So, I mean, for me, the, the physical transition is, is a huge aspect of my transition as well, but the social transition has just been the most beautiful, wonderful experience that I've ever had. It's wonderful and it's absolutely the right thing for me. Uh, this, this is absolutely right. I, I am transgender and um, socially and physically I think that's about all I have on the topic. So I'll hopefully catch you next week.